So today I will talk about a really important topic for beginners and that's the fact that beginners should not invalidate their personal experience. If you don't see spirit physically with your eyes or hear audible voices in your head, if you feel just slight energy shifts and vibrations in your body, that's fine. Your experience isn't less valuable than anybody, than anybody else's. And I will tell you what's the problem in this community. And the biggest problem in this community for beginners is people fucking lying. You know? You see a bunch of those Facebook posts of people who claim I performed my, performed my first ritual. And during my first ritual I saw physical manifestation of the spirit, you know? Fuck you didn't! Fuck you lie, bitch! And uh, I will tell you how bullshit those people are. Like they perform the ritual and then they see for a second the image of the spirit in their head. And then they are. I saw spirit physically. I saw spirit physically. Fuck me in the ass. I saw spirit physically. Fuck you didn't. And fuck you are lying piece of shit. In order to develop astral senses. To see spirits. To physical materialization. You either need to be extremely psychically gifted. From birth. Or you need years of training. And majority of people need the second thing. They need the years of training. So your first ritual will be really subtle in spirit manifestation. You will feel some pressure in the room. Some vibration is in your body. Some energy running through your body. Your body will maybe move in some weird ways. You will feel pressure near your forehead. Or after the ritual you will have some weird dreams. That kind of subtle stuff, okay? Don't expect demon running around you after the first ritual because you saw somebody on Facebook claiming that after the first ritual. They are probably fucking lying. It's not true. It's not how it works. To develop astral senses, to hear spirits, and see them and shit like that, you need years of practice. I practiced magic for six years, not for six, but for five. And I had only four concrete spirit materializations. In majority of my rites, manifestation of spirit is energetic. It is not physical and it is not tangible. And that's the truth for majority of practitioners I know. Every practitioner who claims that he gets tangible physical manifestation from every of his rituals is either a living legend or a fucking liar. And the second category of people are by far the majority. You know, people from Middle East will understand me. Or... People familiar, familiar with the Claritian lore will understand me better. You know why it is said that when you see the first and the true face of God, you will die? You know why it is said that demons and jinn have hideous faces? The reason why this is said in uh, old texts is because this is a warning. True and complete manifestation of the spirit is something majority of minds cannot comprehend. I know people who worked too much too quickly, bunch of them, and they get got fucking insane. So the reason why you feel just slight energetic sensations and you are not having some kind of motherfucking crazy experience is because you are not ready for motherfucking crazy experience. You cannot comprehend yet motherfucking crazy experience, dude. 
In order to have motherfucking crazy experience, you need to hone your skills. That's the truth. And uh, a lot of people are fucking lying on Facebook and you cannot help with that. Also, a lot of people are inventing 3,000 years old lodges which do not, which do not exist. You know, this community is full of fucking motherfuckers. And I don't trust anybody anymore. So, you know, there is one really important thing I also need to say. If you want to open up your psychic abilities, work on your chakras, energy centers, and practice your rituals regularly, and take notion about safety. Make sure you practice your rituals as safely as possible. Write a sacred space before every ritual. If you are physically able to draw a circle and a triangle, that's fine. I am not able to use big circles and triangles due to physical and health constraints. But for people who are drawing consecrated magical circles and triangles is effective. Using consecrated tools is effective. Setting up an altar to the spirits you work the most with and building up a relationship with them is an, is effective. Take care of your work and be careful of it. And uh, in, in the next part of this video, I will give you a magical, a magical hymn to raise a sacred space with Lilith. Enjoy! Lilith croniani tutanita lelitate hoties to lilitania Yet I litania to Lilith Cronianito Tanita Lilitate. What is to Lilitania? Yet I litania to Lilith Cronianito Tanita Lilitate. What is to Lilitania? Yet a Lilitania to Lilith Croniani to Tanita Lilitate. What is to Lilitania? Yet a Lilitania to Lilith Croniani to Tani ta ele da te, o ti es tu ele de niña, e da ele da nea tu, lili di gronia ni tu, tani ta ele da te, o ti es tu ele de niña, e da ele da nea tu. Lilith croniani tu tanita lelitate, hoti es tu lelitania, hieta lelitania tu. Lilith croniani tu tanita lelitate, hoti es tu lelitania, hieta lelitania tu. Lilith croniani tu, tanita lilitate, hoti es tu lilitania, quieta lilitania tu, Lilith croniani tu, tanita lilitate, hoti es tu lilitania, Yet I lilith ania to Lilith croniani to Tani ta lilithate O ties to lilith ania Yet I lilith ania to Lilith croniani to Tani ta lilithate Odies tu lilitania, que 
So after you listen to the raising of the sacred space and after you are aware how to raise your sacred space with Lilith, uh, I will once again remind you, my dear viewers, especially those who are beginners, to be confident in your experiences and uh, don't invalidate your experience because spirits do not manifest physically or you are not able to hear spirit speaking in audible voice. That's a really a rare. Majority of soul servers, majority of magicians are not capable to manifest spirits to physical materialization every time and to hear spirit in audible voice every time. Spirits usually speak to us in a really subtle way through change in the atmosphere, atmosphere of the room, through change in the energy of the room, through pressure in the forehead, through hearing voice in your head which isn't yours, through having unusually vivid and powerful and meaningful dreams, through having weird synchronicities and coincidences. Those are the ways spirit usually communicates, especially to beginners. So if you are not able to have outstandingly powerful spiritual experience from ritual, evocation, invocation or meditation, don't invalidate your experience. That's the point of this video. And always take notes and follow what kind of results your ritual had. Thank you for your time and this was enough for today. Thank you.